Hi, Michelle Seitz here. You're watching the lesson on section breaks. Here's the scenario. You need to insert a landscape page between two portrait pages. You will need to learn how to insert section breaks to do this. Watch this video to learn how. In the portrait page, go to the insert tab and click on break. In the break dialog box, select next page. Your cursor should now be in the top of the next page. As you can see, we are on page two. We're going to repeat these steps again to insert another section break next page. Go back to the Insert tab, click on Break, and select Next Page. Click OK. Now you can see we have three pages. We want to go to the top of the second page. You can see we are on page two. We need to be in the header of the second page. To do this, go to the View tab and select Header and Footer. I am now in the header of the second page. Now that we are in the header, we have the Header and Footer toolbar available. Since I'm adding a landscape page, I don't want it to be linked to the previous page or to the next page. Because I want a portrait page before my landscape page and a portrait page after my landscape page. In the header and footer toolbar, the link to previous is highlighted. And you can see the word same as previous in the top right of the header. Click the link to previous to deselect it. As you can see, the same as previous tab is no longer displayed. I need to repeat these steps in the footer. Click switch between header and footer. The footer is still linked to the previous section. Click the link to previous item in the header and footer toolbar. I need to repeat these steps in the header and footer in the next section. To go to the next section, click Show Next. Since I'm in the footer, I'm going to click the link to previous, and then I'm going to go to the header, and I'm going to do the same thing. Click Link to Previous. Now we want to close the header and footer. Click Close in the Header and Footer toolbar. Since I want to make my second page Landscape Orientation, go to File, select Page Setup, and select Landscape, and click OK. Now, as you can see, we have a portrait page on page one, a landscape page on page two, and a portrait page on page three. Since I need to insert a table on my landscape page, I want to see my paragraph marks. I want to make sure that I'm on the correct position on the page. To do this, click on the show hide icon. Now I can see my paragraph marks and my section breaks. Before I insert my table, I want to make sure my cursor is before the section break. As my preference, I always want to make sure I have a paragraph mark before my section break. So at this point, I put my cursor before the section break and I hit enter twice. Next, I want to position my cursor on the top paragraph mark. Now I will copy in my table at this position. If this is a table created in Word, to copy the entire table, click this icon. It selects the whole table. Hit Control C to copy the table. Now go back to the document in which you would like to insert the table. At the cursor, hit Control V, which copies in your table. And that is the end of lesson one, section breaks.